The new book, entitled What Does China Think?, looks at the ideas shaping the country's future and opens up the hidden world of intellectual debate that could also change the rest of the world. As the country emerges on the world stage, author Mark Leonard says the international community needs to think about China in an entirely different way. In the past, it's been seen as an economic power, a huge market, a source of foreign reserves, a consumer of oil and gas. Um, more recently, we've seen it as a political force that could have the, the key to solving Darfur or the Iranian nuclear crisis. But in the future, we need to think of China as a powerhouse of ideas, an ideological competitor that is, stands for a different model of globalization and that will change the world for its ideas. Speakers at the event included the Foreign Office Minister for Africa, Asia and the United Nations, Lord Mark Malik Brown. How come a government which does not set, subject itself to electoral test always impresses one as being more in touch with public opinion and public concerns than many governments which do go to the polls every five years. I find it remarkable to talk to municipal figures in Shanghai and listen to how worried they are about migration issues from the west of the country, not just in terms of its impact on Shanghai services, but what can be done to better distribute wealth and job opportunities uh, to uh, the west to prevent this migration. Uh, to the huge concerns about corruption, which, which seizes uh, the, political, uh, the political elite. So this is not an out-of-touch government. The minister said that the international community also has to realize that the Chinese version of globalization could reshape the face of Africa. I find in talking both to, to Chinese foreign ministry officials, to the ambassador here, to her counterpart in uh, New York, a growing recognition that if ever there was an option of China sliding under the radar in terms of its uh, foreign policy, that moment has passed. Uh, the issues of its, 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 its role in Africa, both its, its need to, to, to meet its energy needs in part from Africa, its commercial ambitions in Africa, uh, but also its development and political ambitions in Africa mean that, like it or not, it's taken its seat as a global stakeholder uh, around this agenda. All those present at the event agreed that as well as being seen as a center of massive growth, China must also now be seen as a powerhouse of ideas about politics, economics and the world order.